What's going on? Yeah, this is here talking a little flash. Um, <laughs> uh, this one was pretty cool. It's actually a spy adventure, a little, a uh, little James Bond action. So let's just get right into it. It starts with the crew, because remember in the in the previous episode, Nash Wells said that I know how to save Barry Allen, and you know I was wrong because I thought that you know like the t like the team wasn't gonna tell Iris or um or Barry so they actually did end up telling Iris and Barry um Barry <laughs> they, they were all in the cave together and Nash basically told them he was like yo this is where the monitor's hiding and I'm gonna kick his ass like he he flat out said he was like he's gonna he's gonna kill him so this way Barry will be safe so Wells definitely has beef with the monitor but we don't know why yet. um but he did say that the reason why he can't go in there yet is because he needed a device that will allow him to see the wavelengths within the rocks because the place where the monitor is on the other side of the wall there's like you know basically it's like some magical stuff where like if if he tries to like hammer through it it'll like explode or it'll destroy like the underground or whatever so they're like these little thing i forgot what he called them but he needs someone with ultraviolet like wave powers to see the bad stuff see the bad rocks so he can cut around the bad rocks and only cut the good rocks so he can get into the monitor so he tells the team he's like yo i'm on it um, don't worry about it. Uh, that was the last time we saw Iris for the, you know, for the entire episode. And then, well, you know, now she ends up going back to Iris's, um, Iris's job, which is, which is funny, because he said that the device that he needed was, was, was at the Central City Citizen. Um, Allegra shows up, and then she's like, oh my God, it's Harrison Wells, and he's like, I'm not Harrison Wells. She's like, but you look like Harrison Wells, bitch. I'm not Harrison Wells, you know. And then um, he was just like, you know, I'm Nash Wells, and then she's like, why do you look like him? And then you know, Nash using his, um, his gauntlet thingy. He basically found out that the device that he was searching for was actually her, because she has the power to see ultraviolet rays. So he's just like, "Yo, I'll tell you what, I'll give you." Because she was just like, "Oh, you know." And actually, he actually also spilled the beans. He told Allegra that um, that that Barry Allen was the Flash. <laughs> so that's going to be an awkward conversation for Iris when um, when we get to that moment. You know, then he was just like, look, um, do me a favor. He's like, I'll tell you all about, like, the multiverse and about the villains, Barry Allen being the Flash, the good, the bad, the ugly, and I just need you to use your powers to do something for me. So they go down into the cave. She tries to use her powers. So at first, she's a little hesitant, and then he's like, come on, use your powers. And then she's like, why? And then she's like, why do you need it so bad? And then he was just like, because once you use your powers, I know where I can dig so I can go on the other side of this rock and whoop this dude's ass. And then she's like, no, I don't want to be responsible for hurting people. She's like, that's not who I am. Because, you know, because her cousin's ultraviolet. Her cousin's a bad guy. And Allegra is basically afraid of her powers. Like, she's afraid that if she uses her powers, it'll turn her into, like, you know, it'll turn her into a criminal. And she doesn't want to become a criminal. So she goes off running, whatever. And then later on, like, you know, she comes back and then... Nash is like, you're not your cousin, you get to choose who you get to be, and I don't want to hear that stuff, and then, you know, he was like, who's Allegra, and she's like, Allegra is not a bad guy, not a bad person, she uses her powers, Nash scans the thing, and then, you know, he knows where to dig now, and then everything's good. The two of them go back upstairs, you know, they're back at the CC, the, the, the CC, Central City, yeah, the CCC, <laughs> and then, you know, she was just like, why are you being so nice to me? Because, you know, because Nash is kind of a dick. And then he was just like, I don't know, you remind me of someone. And then he leaves, and then he looks at her, he, he stares at her, like, you know, like, proudly or whatever. So, my assumption here is that either Allegra, because they brought up Doppelganger, like, a bunch of times. Either Allegra's Doppelganger is Nash, is Nash Wells' daughter on his Earth, and the monitor, like, I, my, my guess is the monitor destroyed Nash's Earth, which is why he's on, which is why, like, he's on the hunt, you know, because he flat out said, he was like, I'm gonna kill him, he was like, I'm gonna kick his ass, whatever, so, um, I think, the, I think, like, his Earth is, like, the monitor destroyed his Earth, so he's on a rampage, and his daughter is all, his daughter died on his Earth, and his daughter looks exactly like Allegra, or, you know, yeah, because I don't think she has powers, because when he found out that Allegra had metahuman powers, he's like, oh god, this Earth and the metahuman, so I don't think his, his Earth has metahumans, but that's my guess, like, like I said, like, that's probably his daughter on a different Earth, and then she did because of the, because of the crisis, well, that was it for them, so, <laughs> Chester's back. Um, <laughs> Chester came out of the pod. He showed up alone. He was alone in Star Labs. Nobody was there, so he was doing the he was doing the um, the montage of like touching everybody's stuff. And he actually he knows all their devices. He was like, "Wow, is that a sonic ultrasonic pulse generator? Wow, is this is this a third? Is, is this like you know?" He was just he was like naming everything. So I'm like, "Chester, you know." And Cisco wasn't in this episode, you know. And I'm just like, "Well, if Cisco ever really like died or if they got rid of him." 
like Chester could just squeeze right in. And it'd be nice to have some more color on um <laughs> it'd be nice to have more color in Star in, uh, in Star Labs. So, you know, Killer Frost, you know, she was she had she had Star Labs duty, she saw him, and then she immediately took him to Cecile. Um, Cecile, you know, because she's no longer the DA, she's now a lawyer to defend the rights of metahumans. And you know, she held Chester out like she got his license reinstated. You know, she got him back in society because when because when Chester was in Star Labs, he looked himself up and it said that he was deceased. So, you know, she got him back in good graces. And then, you know, he was just like he was he was sad because apparently Jitters is gone. So I don't know if they no longer have the rights to shoot in Jitters or they just wanted to move on from it. But Jitters was destroyed, and you know, he was like, "Yo, the girl that I like, she worked there." And then Cecile was like, "Well, I can help you. I can I can use my powers." And so Ce Cecile's whole thing is. Because she's a lawyer now, she's basically scared. She she doesn't trust herself. She thinks she's gonna screw it up. She didn't have any clients. Like Chester was her first client. So when when Chelsea tried to use her powers, because Chester she she convinced Chester to talk to the girl that he liked, and then she was gonna use her powers to help Chester out because Chester was nervous to talk to the girl. But because she was feeling inadequate and she was feeling some kind of way about her own situation, she mistook the girl's feelings for her own feelings. Gave Chester the wrong information. Chester screwed the whole thing up. Later on. He, you know, she apologized. He was like, "Yo, don't worry about it." He's like, "Trust yourself. I'm gonna trust myself, and then we gonna be alright." He said he went back. He spoke to the girl. He tried to get a number. She said no. <laughs> but you know, the two of them are gonna be okay in the long run, and um, especially for Cecile, I like having Cecile around. So now, um, Ralph, you know, like Ralph, he, like Joe, like because because the crisis is coming, Barry's trying to get everybody prepared for life without the Flash. And since Cisco doesn't have powers, and Killer Frost doesn't really know the superhero gang like that, uh, Barry was going to do a live press conference where the Flash was going to pass the torch to Elongated Man. Um, but Ralph had a case because he's still looking for that girl, and he found a tip because there was like a dress that the girl wore, and he saw her at some party. So Barry was just like, "Yeah, let me roll with you. I'll help you solve your little detective thing." Um, Barry, you know, they go to the party. It's like you know, casino, ca casino royal style. Barry doesn't really understand like how the spy game works. Like he's more like he's the superhero guy. When he found out that the casino was just full of criminals, he was like, "Well, the Flash and Longgated Man should come in and take down the, the public." And then you know, then Ralph was like, "Hold up!" <laughs> he's like, "That's not how it works." He's like, "These aren't metahumans. These are like, this is organized crime." He's like, "You just can't be rolling up in here." You know, like lawyers get involved and then people you know get away scot free. So. You know, so they tried to do the whole thing that they put the, the tuxedos on and they went in, they were trying to schmooze people. Barry was failing at it miserably. And, and then they met this one dude, um, this bald dude. Everybody had an accent, you know, they had like the Zsa Zsa Gabors and you know, like the whole, like, it was very, it was very like James Bond stereotypical, but it was designed to be that way. So in the end, Ralph basically told Barry, he was like, look, you know, he was like, this is, he said, he said, you gotta, you gotta know, he's like, not everything is a job for the Flash. Like this is a, this is a job for, you know, Barry Allen and Ralph Dibney. He said we got to use our regular personas because our, you know, like our superhero personas don't work in this environment. Barry didn't listen. He put the costume on. He tried to zoom around the whole casino looking for clues and everything. He set off an alarm. He got him and Ralph caught. Um, you know, then after him, you know, then like the bad guy, the, like the the stereotypical like Bond villain. He uh, he was like, I'm gonna go upstairs and sell this weapon to all the criminals. Ha 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 ha. So, you know, and then he had he had like Barry and you know and Ralph tied up downstairs, and then Barry basically told him he was like, you know what, Ralph, you're doing a good job, and he was like, I should probably pass the torch to um to Ralph, didn't he? Instead of elongating man, and he told him he was like, listen, we were gonna honor you, and then you know we're well, we're gonna honor you, and you know because he was just like you know he's like I see now like you know you're you're like you're you're the dude you're like you are the good choice like you're the perfect choice to take over because Ralph Digny. Rob did me is just as good as the elongated man, and you know, and he trusts him. And then Ralph was like, "Yo, I appreciate that, but Barry Allen's good people's too, and don't don't forget that." So, you know, the two they break out, they go upstairs, you know. And then Barry was like, "You know what? You know, let me put the Flash costume away." He went upstairs as Barry Allen, and then Ralph and Barry Allen took on the bad guys, you know, stopped the satellite, you know, stopped the countdown, whatever, and they saved the world. The ultraviolet Allegra's um, cousin. She Esperanza, um, yeah, she works for the um, the evil spy guy. He said that he busted her out of prison, so she's still around and she's gonna be a thing. Like she's gonna have more of an impact because Allegra is still around. Like the fact that Allegra is still around and they busted Ultra Violent out of prison, the two of them will have a battle before <laughs> before the season's over. You know, so but in the end, you know, like they um, they arrested everybody, they put everybody back behind Iron Heights. You know, and then um, Ralph, you know, he got the award. He got his um, his elongated man emblem. You know, he got you know honored by the city. And then he, then him and Joe, 
they honored Barry Allen and gave Barry Allen and um you know like the Purple Heart for the city whatever you know for the you know because again because like I said they were doing the whole thing about it's not all about the superhero persona it's also about you know your regular persona so they didn't honor the Flash they honored Barry Allen for his CI work and his contributions to the city um, in the end <laughs> in the end and then Ralph ended up going to Iris and then he was just like yo ultraviolet Esperanza whatever she's she's still around. And then, you know, I was just like, all right, I'm going to look into it because, you know, Allegra's her employee, so she's going to want to protect her employee, you know, if her cousin's going around killing people. And then as soon as Iris left the room, um, Bloodsport shows up. I guess we can officially call him Bloodsport now. And then he rolled up on, um, on Ralph, and then, like, the show ended, and we don't know what happened. Like, we don't know if he used, like, his blood goo and sucked Ralph in. We don't know if he took Ralph's blood. We don't know what happened, but Ralph got, Ralph got got. <laughs> like Ralph went through all that for nothing. He just got got. So, well, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yeah, but that was um, that was a cool episode of The Flash. You know, Caitlin didn't really do too much. Um, no Cisco in this episode. And I said, and, and those are my predictions. Like I predict that Allegra and um, Esperanza will have a battle. Um, Chester may end up replacing Cisco because Cecile did stay. She did say to him, she's like, you know what? You'll fit in perfectly in Star Labs. And as far as like blood sport, you know, <laughs> and snip rolling up on Ralph, I have no idea. Maybe this is maybe this is how they get Ralph out of the crisis. Maybe Ralph won't be a part of crisis because of this. But I don't know what's going on with Ralph. But uh, definitely good episode of the Flash. And again, um, we will find out that Allegra's doppelganger is Nash Wells' daughter. So thanks for checking out my Flash review. You know, leave a comment, like, and or subscribe for other DC content because we got the season finale of Titans coming up this weekend. Uh, so until then, take care. And as always, I'm out this bitch.